Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another video helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it. Today, want to spend some time with you guys on how we get our snow plowing pricing and help you guys out with growing your lawn and landscaping business. A lot of you guys obviously cut grass, you guys do landscaping, you guys are getting into snow removal more and more, myself included over the last couple of years. What I wanted to talk about uh, is how we are growing our business and how we're pricing out the jobs that we're bidding on. In fact, a lot of you guys have picked up these snow plow contracts at launchpreneuracademy.com. Those are selling great. Thank you guys for the support. $99 if you guys need great commercial and residential snow plow contracts. But what what I wanted to do is take a pen to paper, actually show you guys how we're bidding out our snow plow pricing and how we're getting our seasonal totals, how we are coming up with our per push rates. All this stuff is baked into those contracts. And I'll also leave you guys with another great resource, the Fullerton Unfiltered podcast episode that we did just about two weeks ago on Monday. We spelled out line item by line item, how we came up with these prices, but also baked a, about another half dozen topics of, of FAQs and some blind spots that we just don't have time to get into on today's uh, YouTube video. So if you guys want to check out a 45 minute to an hour long podcast, where we talked about all things snow. I'll try to uh, link that here in the description down below. It may be this video and that podcast can help you guys out further. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take pen to paper, show you guys how we get our four quadrants of pricing, try to keep this video short and sweet in nature. By the time we're done, if you guys get anything out of this or hey, if this is just helpful because I'm transparent with our snow pricing and I'd love to have more YouTube videos out there from all the other different content creators and all the other people who are making videos. I don't see a lot of people talking snow and I also don't see a lot of people sharing their numbers with snow and that's totally fine to do. But as an industry, I think we all need to elevate our pricing because we're all giving it away still uh, for pennies on the dollar compared to what I think we're all worth. So by the time we're done with this video, if you guys get anything out, big thumbs up, super appreciate that. You guys also know how that helps the algorithm. And then number two, anything you guys can weigh in on the conversation, love hearing from you guys, what you're doing out there, what you're getting for a sidewalk, what you're getting for a one acre parking lot, what you're getting for your bulk salt prices or your ice melt applied. If you got any tips or comments, leave that down below in the comment section and we can all win and grow together. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch over here. We're going to talk about the four quadrants about how we get our snow plowing pricing. It's very, very simple. We bid all of our commercial sites this way. So there's four prices that I want to help you guys get to. Number one, we've got our plow price. Number two, we've got our sidewalks. Number three, we've got our bulk salt. And number four, we've got our ice melt. Now, here's what I will tell you. We are bidding all of this on a 45 inch annual snowfall total. That's what we get here in Metro Detroit, Michigan. So that's where we're gonna be working off of these numbers. So that being said, if we have 45 inches of snow uh, and we get uh, divided by three, which is our average snowfall total, a three inch snowstorm, 45 divided by three is going to be 15. Okay, 15 is going to be how many plow events we're going to average, and also 15 sidewalk shovels on average. So let's go for an example. Right now, $245 is our base scrape for a 1.5 to 3 inch snow plow event over here in Michigan. If we did 15 events times $245, that brings us a total of $3,675 for plow price. So we might have a client that wants snow plow pricing only, right? Well, here you go. We can get them that snow plow price and that's based on 15 pushes. Well, hey, what if you live in a market that gets 25 inches of snow? Well, take 25 divided by 45, it gets you 0.65 or whatever the math is on that. And just take 0.65 of all the numbers that I'm coming up with or you can work the math backwards on 25 inches of snow divided by three. Let's say that's what, eight. So you're gonna run these numbers off of eight plow events versus 15 plow events, okay? Really, really simple there. So the reason is that the average snowfall is about three inches. We're gonna go out and plow 15 times. 15 times 245 on a one to three inch snow event is 3,675, that's our plow price. Now, sidewalks, why do we do this uh, four quadrants? Why do we build this independently? Well, because you might end up sidewalk shoveling more, you might end up sidewalk shoveling less, you might end up having um, drift snow and there's no plowable event 
and you just have drift snow by the back doors or the front walkways, or you might plow only, and there's no sidewalk shoveling required. There's been times where we, you know, have a one inch, three inch snowstorm go through, and the rear entry, you know, man doors or the front, you know, uh, man door is completely fine. You don't even need the sidewalk shovel. Other times, we get a dusting to an inch, but there's a five inch, you know, wind drift on the back man doors, and we have this sidewalk shovel. But let's just say on average, we got 15 sidewalk shovels that we've got to do. And we have all of our pricing in our commercial contract. You can get them at launchpreneuracademy.com. But let's say an average sidewalk shoveling is $45. And that's for, again, the 1.5 to 3 inch tier. And on our contracts, we have a 1.5 to 3, 3.1 to 6, 6.1 to 10, 10.1 and above. 10.1 uh, and above is per inch. Our multiplier on that 245 is one and a half. So 245, I think it then goes 365, then 550. And then it's uh, 6250, I'm sorry, 8250 after that per inch. So one and a half multiplier. That's how we're getting all those different tiers for what we do. But again, if you take 45, right, times 15, that's $675 for your sidewalk shoveling only. Okay. Now, if we want to, hey, you know, some people don't want salt on their site. Some people don't want ice melt on their site. They just want snow plowing and sidewalk shoveling of the doors. Maybe they do their own salt. Uh, maybe they do it in house. Maybe they're a hotel or something and they're like, no, we do our own salt. We understand the game. That's fine. Okay. Obviously, you make more money in your salt than you do your snow. We'll get into that here in a minute. But what we're going to do to get our plow and walk price is take $36.75 plus the 675 and that is going to come up with 4350 okay 4350 is what we're going to be charging for the plows and for the walks everybody with me so far that's 15 different plows 15 different sidewalk shovels okay now bulk salt here's a whole other conversation that uh, we really went into ham uh, on the podcast Bulk salt, most folks, we're gonna be uh, taking it and charging two and a half X for it applied. So most guys are buying it for 80, 90, 100 bucks a yard, I'm sorry, a ton. And what we're gonna be doing is charging it at two to two and a half X. Quick side note, for anybody getting into the industry and buying a salter, please, please stop putting bulk salt down at 100, 125, $150 per ton applied. We like to see as an industry average, right? At least a buck 80, at least 200, uh, dollars per ton applied, preferably 240, 260, 300 a ton applied. Are you going to get that everywhere? Absolutely not. For us personally, we're at about 240 a ton. It just depends on where we're coming in at our uh, actual cost for the ton of bulk salt. So let's say we're doing $240 per ton. Hopefully everybody's still with me. This is really simple stuff. And to get a multiplier, how many salt runs are we doing? compared to plow runs. Usually it's a two time multiplier. I like to see us rounding up to two and a half or 2.75, but frankly, if you wanna be a little bit more on the conservative side and bid it to get it, take your multiplier times two. So here, let me give you an example. For the 15 plow runs, we're gonna be doing on average 30 salt runs. Again, I like to see that times two and a half for 37 and a half uh, bulk salt applications. So you're going to be salting 37 and a half times during the winter season on 45 inches versus let's say uh, 30 times. But again, if your bid comes in a little high and they're like, hey, you were close, you can say, hey, we'll salt 30 times. We'll bring that number down. On average, you're putting about 800 to 1,000 pounds down for a one acre parking lot. <clears throat> we're bidding it at 2,000 pounds. So there is some margin here. There is some wiggle room. We'll get into that maybe for a whole salt course later on. But just so you know, you are padding stats a little bit on this bulk salt price. So we do have a little bit of a wiggle room. Is it 150 ton applied wiggle room? No. Okay. So let's make sure we keep that in mind. So how are we getting this number? 30 again, $240 per ton applied times 30. What does that give us folks? Let's do the math together. 240 times 30 is 7,200. $7,200 is going to be our bulk salt uh, quantity. That's the number for us to take care of that parking lot up to 45 inches. So this is all in terms of a company wants a flat rate seasonal price. This is how we're getting to these four quadrants and adding these numbers up. Okay, so hang with me. Similarly, 
30 bags of ice melt, 30 visits, just like 30 bulk salt runs, 30 saltings at $30 per bag applied. Anybody who's putting this uh, ice melt down for 12 to 15 bucks a bag, uh, I would highly encourage you to stop it. You're leaving money on the table. 22, 24, 25 minimum. 30 bucks a bag applied would be a lot better. One bag of ice melt, about a thousand square feet. Um, that's, you know, four or five uh, man entry doors and uh, maybe like the front 100 linear feet or 50 linear feet of a strip mall or a business, uh, a Chick-fil-A, uh, a Chase Bank, okay? One bag. Now, if you take that 30 times 30 is $900. <clears throat> and if we take the $900 plus the 7,200, help me out, mental math, 82, that would be uh, $8,100. All right, so our salt plus ice melt is 8,100. Everybody with me so far? Hopefully I'm working with you guys, you're working with me. 8,100 plus our plow price right? Plus our sidewalks gives us a grand total of $12,450. All right. I'm not sure if that's high to you guys. I'm not sure if that's low to you guys. Again, leave me some comments down below, but this is how we figure out all of our mental math for all of our sites. Managing two dozen different sites here. This is the same numbers we work with with everybody. Now in full transparency, does everybody get bulk salt? No. Does everybody get ice melt? No, some are plow only sites. Some are full service uh, sites and those are home runs and we love those, right? But every single site is different. Some are plow and sidewalks, but they're uh, on call or on demand uh, as needed basis for bulk salt application. A lot of the churches that we take care of, we got a couple of those. They only want salt on Wednesdays and Sundays, go figure, okay? So every client is different. We talk a lot of these details and little nuances there and a bunch of other great tips on the podcast episode. If you want some more, check that out. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so as we go back to this 12,450 number, how do we get, that's that's a seasonal price, okay? If they wanna write a 50% up front and 50% in two months, fantastic. If they wanna write you a check for 12,450 uh, at the beginning of the season, fantastic. If they wanna do five flat rate uh, monthly installments, I'm all about that life. That's called making sure that we are guaranteed income. That's $2,490 a month to take care of your site. Okay, now again, this is up to 45 inches of snow. So we always let the client know, and this is spelled out in our contract. From the very beginning, we got our customer info, all of our rates, and then a seasonal price. And they can initial A for per push pricing, which means it's all a la carte. Every single thing that's laid out in that contract, what we apply or what we do is what we charge and what we get paid for. But if they want a flat rate monthly price, this is becoming very popular the last couple of years, is December, January, February, naturally we'll have the larger inflated snow totals and snow pricings, but it is a sting to the pocketbook, right? So if we can mitigate that, the companies have real budgets. Uh, they don't want $5,000 invoices in December and January. I wouldn't either. So instead, if we can ride that out with November and March, we can have five equal flat rate monthly billings. Okay, so you're gonna do uh, $2,500, you know, in this example that we're billing out for in uh, November and March, but we're only gonna have $200 to $600 worth of cost between labor, fuel, uh, salt, and, you know, employees, right, in that regard. But again, we're taking the sting out of those three, four, five thousand dollars invoices, perhaps in December, January, and February. Does this make sense? So this has become increasingly enticing to a lot of our commercial accounts, a lot of our HO, uh, HOA accounts, flat rate monthly pricing. Again, right now we're about a 40, 60 split. I'd say 40% are flat rate, 60% are still per push. We're moving more customers towards the flat rate monthly more than just the per push. I personally like to have a hybrid system. That way, if it snows, we get paid good. If it doesn't snow, obviously, we're still getting some money coming into the checking account, which helps pay for payroll and the company overhead. Okay, now again, this is all for commercial. So at the end of the day, these are our four quadrants. Number one, we've got our plow price, 15 pushes. Number two, sidewalks, 15 visits. Bulk salt, up to 30 times. I'd like to see that number at two and a half multiplier. Number four, ice melt, same thing, 30 bags applied. And you'd also do that at two and a half multiplier, which would be 37 and a half visits. If we went a little bit more on the higher price, it bid it to not get it or bid it. If you get it, great, because you got the best price, a little bit more retail price. These 30 number visits are a little bit more conservative, sharpen the pencil. Hey, let's bid it a little bit more competitively prices, okay? That being said, 
Uh, there's a lot of nuances in here. You know, you could always buy more coverage. Um, you know, we talk about that on the podcast. Uh, what happens if it snows 80 inches? Well, on our contract, it says it reverts back to per push pricing after 45 inches of coverage. So if a client's like, hey, what if we get 60 inches of snow? Hey, this right here, this 12.45 that we just budgeted, you're good to go. But if we get a wall up, like Minnesota got last year, I think 80 inches, and they're usually getting 40, 45 inches. If they get that much snow, it reverts to outside of this contract. We go back to that per push, per application, per bulk salt, per sidewalk shovel, per snow plow visit pricing, right? It gets tacked onto the invoicing, obviously after you hit that threshold of whatever your tier is, up to 25 inches, up to 45 inches, up to 95 inches, okay? That's what I got. A lot of words, uh, maybe watch this video a couple times. Love to hear what you guys are getting out there for a bag of ice metal applied, a ton of bulk salt applied. What are you guys doing for your sidewalk shoveling? What are you guys getting for a one acre site for uh, your snow plow rate? Uh, that's with a standard nine foot two boss plow can do about an acre acre and a quarter per hour uh, that's some pretty good productivity rates a lot of you guys are wondering where do you get that 245 dollar base rate for the snow plow push that actually comes from knowing our numbers and the know your numbers calculator that tool that we made available to you guys here in the spring at launchpreneuracademy.com we used a multiple overhead recovery system to get our 80 dollar per man hour rate for our lawn and landscaping business but we went to a single overhead recovery system i.e plowing and salt only and a four month window to recover the overhead for this portion of the business, that production rate is going to triple to $245 an hour because there's less time to and labor to recoup our overhead compared to the summer. When we've got hundreds, if not thousands of man hours versus very, very small window to make that money back uh, in the winter, if that makes some sense for you guys. If you guys need snowplow contracts, check them out at launchpreneuracademy.com. Like I said, one of the most popular resources that we have there available for you guys, 99 bucks, you download them. Uh, they're very, very streamlined. Fill in the red with your company's info, maybe pass it through your legal department, your legal team, uh, or maybe a family lawyer so they can help make sure that this working for your state, province, um, you know, Canada, America, all that mess. Um, but then also make sure that you guys change everything out of red to your company's info and your company's name, their plug and play. Hey, if an HOA or a uh, you know retail restaurant calls you tomorrow and you don't have snow plow contracts, these would be a great resource for you guys to help you start landing that snow work and start locking that stuff down. Now, we've been having conversations to get our snow work lined up since early part of July. Uh, snow is right around the corner, don't delay. So make sure you guys are bidding those sites, get the conversation going with the decision maker. And if you guys want any more information, I'll leave that podcast link here uh, down in the description down below. We'll expound upon this for another 45 minutes outside of this video. All right, that's what I got for you guys in today's video. A little bit more of an X's and O's. Hope you guys appreciate this kind of stuff. We look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one.